Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series AT-AT driver. Okay, stop. Stop right there. Move your hands away from the keyboard. I know you heard me just say AT-AT driver, and I know you're about to type it's supposed to be AT-AT, but you have to understand where I'm coming from here. I was around six years old whenever Empire Strikes Back came out, so very impressionable age then. And you have to remember back then that cartoons didn't come on a lot. A little bit after school, then on Saturday mornings from the time you woke up, which was earlier than on school days, to the time that golf came on and you got your ass outside. And that's when we were force-fed commercials for toys all morning. So at that time, this is what we saw. Yeah. Tat -tat. All terrain armored transport. New Bespin Guard, new Adat Commander, new Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. Yoda, Adat Driver, and other action figures each sold separately. It's new Adat, the all terrain armored transport from Kenner. You can make Adat walk. You can move Adat's head and pretend to scan for rebels. Adat has a cockpit for Imperial Commander and Adat Driver. New Adat from Kenner's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back Collection. Yeah, one of those commercials, it was 30 seconds of Adat. He said it six times. So yeah, that's why Adat is stuck in my head. Not to even mention the fact that I'm a lazy bastard and ADAT -AT is less syllables than ATAT. -AT. Now I hear you say it, but it's ATST. Of course, AT st sounds stupid. And whenever I was a kid, that was a scout walker, or more lovingly in my house, a chicken walker. In fact, at the 2016 San Diego Comic Con, the Hasbro team at the Star Wars panel called it an ADAT -AT, while introducing the ATACT, -AT, which I don't know, makes any sense. My brain wants to say ad act, but all of those guys are older too. They were probably raised on those commercials where it was ad at. To confuse the matter, here's this. New 4LOM, Zuckus, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. And yeah, that was the commercial when I was a kid. Nobody calls him 4LOM. Everybody I know calls him 4LOM. So yeah, maybe it's just me being lazy. That's what I called it growing up. That's what's still stuck in my head over 35 years later. But just for giggles, let's talk about it. What do you call it? Post down in the comments below. Uh, your average age group and what you actually call it. Let's see if it's mostly the older folk that call it ADAT -AT, and then the youngins call it ATAT. -AT. Yeah, anyway, back to the review and I'm gonna go out this way. Looking at the package, uh, I talk about this every time I get a new figure. <laughs> the red, the black, it's a nice contrast against the figure. It makes the figure really stand out against the packaging. And I love the artwork down here showing the actual trooper. On the side, the ADAT -AT driver is number 31. And then on the back, we have the bio, that picture again. <laughs> looking badass in the background. Down here is some stuff I can't read. It looks like a warning. Do not put in mouth or any other opening in your body. On the side, more of the window. Bottom, all the legal stuff. Top, window. So I'm going to get this open and see what's up with the ad, ad driver. And there we go, all out of the package. And oddly enough, before Amazon even sent me a shipping notice on this guy, I was over at a buddy of mine's house. He's in the 501st. Uh, he has uh, basic stormtrooper armor, and then he's building a shadow trooper armor right now. He was looking around online, seeing what could possibly be his next build, and we ran across the ADAT -AT driver here. Looking at the prop shops, uh, the ADAT -AT driver helmet, uh, the front chest box, the back, there's a lot more details to the character than I thought there were. Down in the chin, uh, one side's red, one side's white. There's a lot more detail going up beside the eyes, up under the helmet a little bit. I didn't even know those were there. And then on the back, it kind of looks like a stripped down computer motherboard just stuck into his back. Opening the figure now, I see that it does have all those little details. So that's a great job on Hasbro's part. Sure, it's a little bit less defined than they are at 1-1 scale, but... I, it, they did a nice job of getting everything in there. Getting it in hand and then looking at detailed pictures at it the other night, you realize it's a stormtrooper helmet with a rebel pilot helmet stuck on top of it. Not a big deal, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. But they did a good job of all these little paint colors, little red dots across here, red, gold, black. I, everything's pretty nice and clean. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. The piping goes around, comes up to here. Like I said, that stripped down circuit board on the back, it's not quite as noticeable on the figure as it is in real life, but they did a good job of trying to replicate it back here. Going over articulation, the head movement is hindered a little bit by these pipes coming down, but you get side to side, you get up, you get down. Out of the package, this was stuffed up under the helmet like that, and I thought, well, it's supposed to be that way, but you can see how it's kind of kicking the head over to the left. This side wasn't under, and with that side under, you can't get that under, so I pull it out it opens up the range of movement there. Hinge and swivel in the shoulders, but those shoulder pads. Unfortunately, just as they are, it's going up over the torso, so you can lift up to about right there before the shoulder pad starts squashing up into the chest armor. But that's the design from the movie, so not a lot you can do there. Hinge and swivel at the elbow, come up to about 90, and then swivels. 
hinge and swivel at the wrist and it's set to side to side for a shooting hand which i don't really like i'd rather have the up and down and then of course swivel ball up under this armor piece it gets a surprisingly good amount of movement for being what it is hinge and swivel at the hips out is a little bit hindered if you try to split uh, these straps right here I guess could be moved up and then you get full range but even with them down it doesn't hinder forward which being an ad driver you need him to sit if he had something to sit in back kind of hits the butt swivel at the thigh double knee comes pretty much all the way up hinge at the ankle goes back goes forward and then forward facing pin for rocker for accessories he only comes with the standard stormtrooper blaster for comparison, here he is with his wave mate, the Snow Trooper. Good height on this. I was afraid, like the TIE Fighter pilot, it was going to come out a little bit short, but good size. He fits right up with the rest of the Stormtroopers. Speaking of the TIE Fighter pilot, here's that comparison. You can see the TIE Fighter pilot, still small, still scrawny. But I've already rationalized that as they fly around in space in a small, tiny cockpit. So, yeah, I'm good with the pilot being small. I'm also good with the ADAT driver being normal size. And then, just to show he doesn't use Luke parts, here he is with X-Wing pilot Luke. And I always forget how small this figure actually is. He's definitely short for a Stormtrooper. So, at the end of the day, I don't feel like this is the most action-oriented figure. I don't know if it's because of my own personal thoughts on what this figure should be doing, which is driving to at at It's just hard to, for him to get into action poses. Also, a lot of it is the chest box. You can't get him cross-armed with the weapon. But the overall look of the figure is awesome. It's a striking figure on the shelf. It's not just the white and black of the standard Stormtrooper, but it's not the white and tan, ugly brown kind of color of the Snowtrooper. The gray, the reds, the blacks, the whites, they all work off each other here. But that goes back to the design, and this figure captures that pretty damn perfectly. But when it comes down to it, it just seems wrong him to be anywhere but the cockpit of an ad at. I don't think Hasbro's gonna come out with one of those anytime soon. Somebody needs to do a third party kit, and I need some bank loans. So when it comes down to it, I dig the figure. It's gonna look good on the shelf. It just looks wrong standing up. But that's my own personal hang up there. I, it looks good on the shelf. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh.